We have updated the database schema, so now we need to also update the HTTP POST API endpoint for adding books to the database. For that you'll first update the book view model, then next you'll update the add book method in the books service. Then by the end you'll test all the changes using Swagger. So let us go to Visual Studio and see it in action. In Visual Studio go to the Solution Explorer, then go to the Data folder and inside here go to the View Models. The first thing that we need to do is that we need to update the book view model. So at the end of this file, we are going to add two new properties, which are going to represent our new database schema. So for the books, we have added the publishers, or that I'll just type in here, prop, then int publisher ID. And we have also added the authors, and we have said that a book can have more than one author. So for that, I'll just type in here prop, then a list of int, and the list of integers will represent the author IDs. Then next, let us go to the Solution Explorer, then inside here go to Services, the Books service. Now scroll down in here to the Add Book method, let us first change the name, Add Book with Authors, and then we are going to update the book object. So after the date added, we are going to have the publisher ID. Publisher ID is equal to book. It will come from the view model dot publisher ID. Then after we add the book to the database, we are going to add the relation of the book and the book authors to the book authors table. So just after the save changes, and at this point we have the new book ID, so I'll just type for each, then double tab, var ID in book dot author IDs, and down here we are going to create the book authors, so var underscore book underscore author is equal to new book underscore author, and this object has two properties, the first property is the book ID, so the book ID will be the book dot ID. So after the save changes, we have a new ID for the underscore book, and that will be underscore book dot ID. And we also have the author ID, and the author ID will come from the view model. So that will be just author ID is equal to the ID. Then next, we are just going to type in here context.bookauthors.add and then we are going to add the underscore book underscore author and then context.save changes. Now let us just save the changes in here and go to the solution explorer and here we'll go to the controllers and then books controller then scroll down to the HTTP POST, we have the add book, we are going to change the API endpoint to add book with authors, then change the name in here to add book with authors, and then save the changes. Now before you run Visual Studio, let us go to the add book with authors, so right click then go to definition, if you scroll down in here you see that we still have the author in here. And that is not necessary anymore because we have now the author ID. So let us just remove the author, then remove that line, go to book, so right click then go to definition, scroll down in here, I'll just remove the author, then remove this line, and scroll down in here so we see that we have the relation with the book authors. So now we need to also update the database. For that, I'll just go to the package manager console. Then in here, I'll just add a new migration. Then I'll just type in here book author column removed. Then press enter. So we see that the build failed. Now let us see what the error is in here. 
I'll just go to build, then build solution. So in here we see that we have some author related errors in the AppDB initializer and the book service. So I'll just click in here and I'll just remove the author from here. Scroll down, remove it from here as well. And then next go to the books service. In the book service, I'll also remove the author. Then save the changes, go back to the package manager console and run the add migration one more time. So the migration ran successfully. If you check the migration file, you'll see in here that the column author will be removed from the books table. Now, let us go to the package manager console. And then in here, just type update dash database. So the database was updated successfully. If you want, you can just go to the server explorer, then refresh the tables. Right click on books, then open table definition. And we can see that now the author column is removed. Let us now go back to the book view model. So book view model, then scroll down in here and remove the author. Save the changes. Then go to the books service and in here find the add book with authors. And then add the breaking point by just clicking here on the left. Now let us save all the changes and run this project. In here, go to the books controller, the post method. So click in here, then try it out. Scroll down as a title. I'll just type in here new book title. The description would be just new book description. You can set the is read to false and then you can remove the date read and the rate. The genre, let us say, is comedy. Then the cover URL would just be HTTP and then just a URL. Then the publisher ID, let us say, is one. We know that we have a publisher with ID one in our database because we just added the publishers on the previous part. Then the author's ID. Let us say this book was written by two authors, the author with ID 1 and the author with ID 2. Then next click the execute button. So we hit the breakpoint. Now you can either press F10 or you can just click the step over button. I'll just click this button. So the book object is created. The book is added to the books. Then the changes will be saved. So one more click. The book now was added to the database. So this means that we have a book ID. If you hover over the book, then you go to here, you'll see that the book has an ID of seven. Next for all the book authors, we are going to use the book ID and an author ID to add data to the books authors table. So I'll just click in here. Let us add the relation for the first author. So the author ID is one. The changes are saved in the database. Then next, let us add one more book author. And now the author ID is two and the changes are saved. Now let us click the continue button and we can see that it was a success. Now I'll just stop the app. So I'll just close the browser and go to the server explorer, refresh the tables. Then right click on the books authors and then show the table data. If you go inside here, you will see that we have now some data in this table. For the book ID 7, we have two authors, the author ID 1 and the author ID 2. And if you go to the server explorer one more time, then books show table data. You can see that we have a book with the ID 7. And also the publisher ID is set to 